kidney disease and neuropathy. A production of GoodHealthTube.com. Be sure to watch this video until the end as we will reveal profound information that can help improve or maintain and possibly reverse your impaired kidney function. Uremic neuropathy is a form of neuropathy that affects those with advanced kidney disease or those on dialysis for end-stage kidney disease. Neuropathy is unfortunately a prevalent symptom of kidney disease. It may be caused by nutrient imbalances, dialysis-related factors, or overlapping conditions. The nerve damage may be irreversible and progress over time. The connection between neuropathy and kidney disease may be occurring for several reasons. Kidney failure itself typically causes nerve degeneration. A deficiency in essential nutrients, such as thiamine, vitamin B1, or an excess of zinc could be a factor. These abnormalities are more common in kidney disease patients. Other diseases prevalent among patients on dialysis, such as hyperparathyroidism, can contribute to peripheral neuropathy. Certain types of neuropathy, such as carpal tunnel syndrome, appear to be more prevalent in the access arm that connects the patient to the dialysis machine. A decrease in blood flow to the hand's nerves may be a contributing factor. An increase in physical pressure in the arms and legs as a result of dialysis access can cause excess fluid or blood in the surrounding tissues, which can cause nerve compression. Abnormally high phosphorus levels may lead to the formation of calcium phosphate deposits, which themselves can contribute to neuropathy. This too happens more commonly in kidney disease patients. Finally, neuropathy can be an indication of insufficient dialysis. This situation can be diagnosed by blood tests to confirm that you are receiving adequate or inadequate dialysis to remove urea and other wastes from your bloodstream. Treatment for neuropathy in kidney disease. Kidney transplantation is the most effective therapy for uremic neuropathy. However, this is only a viable option if you are already a transplant candidate. Otherwise, most kidney disease patients will be treated similarly to non-kidney disease patients, keeping in mind that typical medications such as gabapentin may need to be decreased in kidney disease. If you have kidney disease, check out our link in the video description. You may be surprised what you can do to protect and possibly heal your kidneys. Please like, subscribe, and comment. More valuable videos such as this are available in our neuropathy and kidney disease playlist. Hit the notification bell to be notified when more videos become available. This video is not a substitute for consulting a physician. It is not intended as medical advice. It is intended solely for educational and informative purposes. Always consult a healthcare professional before beginning a new health plan. You have been watching a production of goodhealthtube.com. Thanks for watching.